so on this mission, uh, the Lord sent our team out into the bush of Africa. So we left Houston, and from Houston, we went to Newark, New Jersey. Then from New Jersey, we flew to Johannesburg. From there, we went to Lusaka. And then the real journey began whenever we got on those uh, little small bush planes. We're about to take this bush plane out to uh, Zambezi. Just us and Jesus. This is definitely different. This is definitely outside of my comfort zone. No one told me that whenever I said, Lord send me, that this is part of it. <laughs> it took us four days to get there. Uh, let me give you some perspective. We are so far out in the bush that no matter which direction you go, almost, you're going back to civilization. Hi, I'm Kelly Leger. I'm the founder of Spearhead Missions. And right now our team is on mission here in Zambia, Africa. We got to hook up with our Overland Missions family. Overland Missions does a phenomenal work out in unreached people groups, going out to villages, remote villages, and going after the one. And there's no other partner we would have uh, liked to hook up with on a mission like this. So we came out here where they already had a base, went into the bigger town and held a crusade. The three nights were amazing. It's the expectation and the anticipation when you show up. Africa is, is very different when it comes to, to crusade. It was just such a, a beautiful experience, um, seeing the excitement and the expectation um, that the people had. We had a lot of people come and we had more come every night. People would tell people about the crusades and what was happening in their lives and they would bring their friends. I'm telling you, these people were bussed in for an hour, hour and a half away coming to these crusades. A lot of the pastors in the area, lots of them just came. At the end of each crusade, we would send all the people to go meet all the pastors, get them connected in the church. That's something we're really pushing for, is getting them connected with the local church, building the church. We ministered healing. We talked about the person of Jesus Christ, the difference between religion and relationship. And when we gave those altar calls, we saw people run to the altar. <laughs> It's not often that we have a whole crusade field literally run to the platform to give their lives to Jesus. We gave a clear, straightforward gospel message. And this town responded um, like I wasn't expecting. My favorite moment was um, when we got to lay hands. I personally love laying hands on people. You can spend your life doing all these things. But <laughs> When you come to a place like this and to be used by God, it fills you up. And now you just pour out on people. You can't get it doing anything else in life. It just takes a step of faith. Just answering the call, just saying yes to Jesus. If you just believe God, if you just let him lead you, he will do through you some of the most amazing things and he will take you to places that you would have never thought of. There's nothing else I would rather be doing. This is literally, the greatest joy of my life, what I'm doing right now with Spearhead Missions. Uh, the harvest came in. Uh, we thank God for the work that he's done here in Zambezi, Zambia, Africa. In Zambezi, there is only like 15 to 20,000 people. We had probably at least 3,000 people total show up. That means that 20% of the population showed up. 90% of those at our crusade answered the altar call, not just answered, but ran to Jesus. The trip was long, the trip was hard, the trip was worth it.